Hi, my name is Mario Lanaza, and I'm going to be demonstrating a new feature introduced in Cluster Data on Tap 8.2, and this is our new quality of service, or QoS. Uh, this gives you the ability to isolate a hot workload, to um, set workload performance. Um, so if you have uh, a certain LUN, a certain volume, or even a virtual storage machine, you can set a, uh, a policy and uh, limit the number of IOPS or bandwidth to those objects. So think about if you're in a multi-tenant environment, you can have one virtual storage machine with a certain number of IOPS and another virtual storage machine with a num another number of, uh, certain number of IOPS. This gives you the ability to uh, also uh, isolate a rogue workload. Let's say you have a virtual machine in one LUN that's affecting the rest of the cluster. Well, with quality of service, you can now um, throttle that uh, virtual machine down so it doesn't affect the rest of your cluster. Um, this is great in a multi-tenant environment. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you how this works. Um, I have On Command System Manager uh, 3.0 up. And you can see I have a cluster, um, and uh, you can see the different tabs here. Here's my vServer, uh, VSN, VSM1, which is running uh, SIFS and iSCSI, um, and my LUN, <coughs> which is mapped to my machine. So you see this, and then if you I'll hit edit here, you can see the initiator group. And see my computer is mapped to that. Uh, very simple configuration. I only have one uh, virtual storage machine or vServer, same thing. Um, you can see that this is mapped here. If I go to my computer, you should be able to see the F. I see a file here. I'm going to actually delete this. Um, this is online. So let's go ahead um, and create a workload. So um, I have Iometer here, and this is going to uh, basically simulate a, a workload, and I have it uh, going to that LUN. And let's get go ahead and get this started. It'll take a second to ramp up here, and then you'll see. So um, you can see uh, we are running at about a, a thousand IOPS. Um, in order to uh, configure uh, quality of service, you do have to use um, the command line. Uh, it's very easy to configure. Uh, it's basically two steps. You create the policy, and then um, you add an object to the policy. And in my demonstration, I'm adding a vServer. So um, future enhancements in uh, System Manager, we will allow you to configure this via uh, the GUI. Um, so you can, if I run uh, policy group show, and you can see uh, tab complete works um, in the CLI, so that's very useful. But you see I have a uh, policy group, VSM1, this vServer in it, and uh, the bandwidth, the, the throughput I have defined is basically uh, use as much as you can. So right now we're at a uh, 1100. How do I create a policy? Very easy. You would just do policy group, create, um, name the policy group. I'm going to give it the same name because I'm actually not going to commit this command. vServer. And then if I hit tab complete, I have only one vServer. And then you would just simply type max throughput, and this is where you would define it. INF uh, means, you know, use whatever you can use, uh, the ultimate, or unlimited. Um, or you can put in a uh, 500 IOPS, for example. So once you create that policy, you need to put something in it. So basically, you create a group, and then you put something in the group. Uh, you define the group. Um, so, uh, let's say I want to put a vServer in that group, vServer modify, vServer, and then I hit tab. I didn't know, I couldn't remember the command, but I hit tab and it gives me all the options, which is really nice. So I can start typing QoS and just hit tab, and then, um, I hit tab again, and it gives me uh, the the options. I have this policy group or none. Now I already have this vServer 
in a policy group in this policy group so I'm not going to uh, hit I'm not going to complete the command but let's go ahead and modify this policy group change it so you can see uh, the changes in the um, in the IABS so policy group modify policy group I have the one policy group PG dash VSM1 and change the it to 500 IABS hit enter now if I do policy group show you see this is not um, INF anymore it's 500 so to speed this process up um, this will ramp down it takes some time I'm in a virtual environment so I'm going to stop this and restart it and you'll see it at about 500 when this starts back up there we are 503 and now you can see this from the command line too there is a command um, it's called statistics performance show Oh, iterations This is basically going to show me uh, we can uh, run at around 500 IOPS. That's what we're doing now. Confirm through IOMETER. So let's just let's put that back to maximum. There we go. You'll see this start ramping up. It would take a couple minutes, but it would start ramping up. Um, you can see it's increasing now. It'll get up to 600. If I run this command, um, it should show. Uh, there we are. The maximum that we can get to is uh, 1,200 IOPS on this machine. So that is a demo of the quality of service and uh, how you can how it can help you in your environment um, isolate a workload or uh, let's say a you're in a multi-tenant environment and you're the admin um, and someone paid for a certain number of IOPS or certain num you know uh, certain amount of bandwidth you can certainly do that now you can also it also helps you protect your cluster from uh, a rogue workload. Thanks again, and I will have future uh, videos showing uh, more enhancements that were introduced in Cluster Data on Tap 8.2. Thanks again, and uh, have a great